Okay, so I'm back now with the stuff that I am going to be freezing. Some of the stuff is just every day, um, like for the week, but then some of the stuff I will be freezing because of, you know, I want to have them on hand in case these things are not available in the store. So I have chicken nuggets here. We always buy that. Then I have a mixed berry blend. Um, now I was going to buy fresh fruit originally and then prepare it all myself and then freeze it. But um, I just decided to pick up a couple of bags of the actual fruit just to keep on hand. Then I have some Laughing Cow cheese, some paneer. So salted base cell. I wanted unsalted butter, but they only had the salted um, everywhere that I went, or they had it, uh, they didn't have it at all. So I decided to buy salted butter. Now I bought another. Um, I bought a base cell. This is the really like the huge one. I think this is the biggest one you can get. Then I picked up some Minute Maid Mango Punch and some Minute Maid um, orange juice because um, my fridge is not large enough so I cannot store boxes of orange juice in there. So I decided to buy the frozen and store these and then um, just mix them from the concentrate when we're ready for them. Then I bought like three uh, lean ground beef um, packages. These are like 908 grams so almost 1 kg um, and these are the 454 k um, grams so these are one pound these are um, two pounds I believe um, and these were ten dollars each these were five dollars each so picked up a few of those to stock up for the month then I picked up some veggie bologna because um, the girls like those and then some pepperoni for our pizzas that we make on Fridays um, <clears throat> now when we run out of this because they didn't have the stick pepperoni kind of comes like that in a, in a stick and I usually cut it up myself and put it on the pizza but they didn't have it so I bought this when this runs out I'll be using um, hot dog on our pizza and if you haven't used hot dog on your pizza I know it sounds weird but so it tastes really good um, okay, then I bought some diced butternut squash. Um, really, I'm kind of the only one who really loves pumpkin, but the rest of the family will eat it, so I plan to cook that with other things um, to make that up into a meal. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd buy a bag of that. Then I bought four bags of spinach um, because my family loves spinach some hash browns. We'd have these on Saturday mornings. That is our Saturday morning breakfast. And then I bought a bag of peas, a bag of frozen peas, a bag of frozen corn, um, three bags of frozen okra, and uh, their cup. Okay, and then I bought, these were on sale, so I bought um, four packages of chicken thighs with the skin on and the breath, uh, bone in. That's fine because it works really well for baking um, and then also for curry. So we just take the skin off and then use it for curry. So it works out really well. Okay, then I bought some Jergens cream. Now these I bought at various different stores and that's why this one doesn't have fragrance. This is fragrance free, but it'll still work. Then, um, this is the only uh, size of this cream that they had, so I picked up two of them. Those are the kids' creams. But I usually buy the big pump. They didn't have that, so I bought the, those. Then Ivory Queen Body Wash. Um, I bought that before I have found these soaps at different stores. So just in case I went to the stores and I couldn't find the bar soap, I bought the body wash because I figured that would work well as well. Okay, then I bought three packs of bar soaps. Now remember, this is going to last us for a while. So, but I decided, you know what, since this is a prepper pantry, um, I would like to have this on hand. Okay, then I picked up Dove Men's Shampoo. 
uh, two-in-one shampoo, so I picked up three of those. And then I picked up Col Colgate, so this is the one we usually use, um, but they didn't have, um, well actually I bought this after I had bought these ones, so I found these ones. Um, and because I had bought so many of these, plus this one and these, um, I decided to just buy two of these. Um, so, because I really like that one, just in case these ones didn't work out for us. Okay, then I bought some Colgate Max Fresh, and the kids can use those. Um, and then some Pro Namok for my husband, because um, he has sensitive teeth. And then um, Oral B um, Floss. So, this is the two packages. So one, I think it was $6.99 or $5.99, something like that. Um, that I decided to stack up on feminine products. So as you can see here, the thick overnight ones and then the thin um, daytime or light flow ones. Um, then I picked up some makeup wipes. Um, I do have some on hand, but I decided to pick up another package so I don't run out. And then I picked up some travel tissues because we're running low on those okay then royal bathroom tissue this is a very scarce commodity right now um, as you all well know so I have went I don't know how many stores I've been to in the last three days um, and finally they had it at our shoppers drug mart and they were only, they were limiting us to two so I could only pick up two of these, but at least it's something. Okay, and then I also picked up the Scott's um, two-ply facial tissue as well. That's it for the toiletries and the frozen and stuff. I'm going to bring the fresh stuff and the cleaning products so you can see um, what I prepared for that. And then that will be the last of it. Okay, so I'm back and this time I'm going to show you all of the cleaning products and all the produce that I bought. Now keep in mind that I do have some stuff at home, like I do have Fantastic with Bleach um, cleaner at home um, and I mainly use that in our bathroom. And then I have more Windex at home as well. So these are just things that I didn't have um, and then I just thought to stock up because Basically, these were what was on the shelf as well. Um, uh, it was very hard to find things, even if I wanted Windex and Fantastic with bleach, um, or Lysol with bleach, or any other cleaner like that, especially the ones with bleach, they were not on the shelf. They were totally wiped out. Okay, so let's start here. This is um, Great Value Bleach. Okay, so... I picked up one of those because if I do run out of Fantastic with bleach or want to uh, clean up something that's like a big mess, this will work really well. Okay, then I bought some Snuggle um, fabric softener um, just to stock up, um, and this would last for a while when if I had to use that. Okay, then I also. Bought some bounds. These were on sale. I forget for how much, but they were on sale. Um, oh, they're the 60, so I just picked up three of them. Okay, then I picked up Finish Quantum. I like the lemon scent, so I bought um, the 45 tabs. I think they were $16.94. That is a regular price at Walmart. Then I picked up uh, dish soap. These were on sale for $1.99, which is a good price here because they're usually two something um, normally. So I picked up five of them to stock up. Then I also picked up some Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. Now this is the first time I'm going to try this, but I've been meaning to get this, um, the toilet bowl cleaner with the gooseneck um, so that when I spray it, it can go under. Um, I've been using the Fantastic spray, the Fantastic with bleach spray, but it's just very hard to twist my arm in that direction and spray it underneath the the um, the toilet bowl seat. So this I will, this will work really well. 
Okay, then I also got some Comet. Um, this works really well in the kitchen sink. And then some more Windex and that, like I said, I have, I think, two or three bottles in the house already. And same thing with Fantastic Bleach, I think I have four, so I really didn't need those. Um, so now I have four, I think, Bleach or Windex, so now that, that will be good for me. <clears throat> okay, then I have some sponges, I bought some extra sponges uh, for the kitchen. And I wanted to try these um, uh, scrubbers that don't have sponges. They're just scrubbers on a, a stick here. Um, so I wanted to try those. Then I have Javix um, rubber gloves. I buy these all the time. So I decided to stock up because I do have two or three at home. So I decided to buy four more and stock up on that. So they are $1.25 each. Um, okay, then on to the produce. I bought some oranges. Okay, these are $5.97 for the whole case. Uh, same thing with the, the clementines. They're $5.97 for the whole case. Um, so really fresh. The mangoes were a dollar uh, each, so $0.99 cents each. Uh, $1.99 for mushrooms, which we like to put on pizzas. We like to put in pasta, stir fry, so a lot of different things. Carrots, um, we like them for salads and stir fries. And I also do put them in pasta from time to time. Um, and lasagna, all of, always. Okay, then I bought some super sweet pineapple. Now I realized well, after you know I took this out here to show you guys that it just says super sweet. So I'm not sure how these will be, but because usually I like to buy the ones that say extra sweet. And then I know that there's when they ripen, they're sweet. So we'll see how these are. Um, not terribly a big deal. If they're really not that sweet and sour, they're, they're kind of sour, then I'll make a pineapple jam with them. And that would be great for us. Okay, then I also bought some wraps. I wanted the bigger one, size 10 inside, but... Um, they, this was wiped out of the stores as well, and when I went to um, the local grocery store called Freshco here, um, they had these. So I decided to pick up some of these for, you know, wraps or quesadillas or anything like that. Um, also, they make great taco substitutes, so bought those. And then Old Mill bagels, these were a dollar. So... Overall, I'm happy with what I got. Um, the only thing that I probably need to go back to the store for is yeast and toilet paper. Other than that, we are stocked, we are ready to go. And uh, the only things that I would have to go to the grocery store for now, for the next month or so, is the fresh items. So produce, dairy, um, I don't even have to buy bread because I have so much flour. I can just make our bread. Um, I don't need cookies and all that stuff. So basically produce, dairy, and meat. That's what all of uh, most of my grocery hauls will be from uh, for the next couple of weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that um, you got some uh, ideas from this video to start your prepper pantry or to stock up and stay tuned for the next video because I will be showing you how I store all these items. Some of them will be stored uh, where we use them but a lot of them I will be making a pantry, a prepper pantry downstairs. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care and be well on your journey to home sweet home. Take care guys, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye. Oh, and one more thing guys, I forgot to show you are these, they were <laughs> sitting in a bag. And so I just took them out. So I have bought some green beans, they were really fresh. So I bought some of those, bought a cucumber, some limes. Uh, these are plums. Okay, so I bought some plums and then um, some onions. 
Okay, so that does conclude my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care, be well, be safe, and be healthy. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.